Hello, this is going to be an introductory video about a new custom visual that we have created, which is called a writeback planner for Power BI, which enables us to directly communicate with the data right from within the Power BI web service. So we make changes, we see the immediate impact on that data inside of the web. This is going to be a general overview video. And then in the following videos, we will go more into details about each segment of the application. So yeah, let's, let's head into it. Uh, so this is our demo application. Uh, as we can see, everything on the top and to the left is coming natively from Power BI. So this is all Power BI visuals. And on the bottom right part, this is the custom visual that we created. This is Power BI Write Back Planner. So everything is interactive. So if we select uh, Wingtip Toys, we can see that everything is filtering the visual in the bottom part. So every time we interact with the canvas, we also filter the bottom part. Now, what is the power of the Write Back Planner? you can change any figure right from within the user interface or the web service. And then after you commit that change, let's wait for a couple of seconds. We can see that the data immediately updates. So this is the power of this visual. As we can see, there are multiple options. We'll go through all of them in the following videos. But let's say that the most important ones are the ability to increase the whole column size. For example, let's say they want to increase uh, every row for, let's say, 10%. We can choose the rows we wish to increase, and then we can click on increase the rows by 10%. Everything will get increased alongside with updated values inside of the visual. We can do the same with the columns, you can select multiple columns and then do the same thing. Let's increase these columns by 10%. We also wait for a couple of seconds and the data immediately shows in the visual. Uh, there are also options to check what's happening. So we have these changes and comments. If we turn this on, we will see highlighted every change we ever created in the database. So this log follows last five entries and shows them on hovering over the top of the visual. We can also double click on any cell and we can input a comment. So let's say that this is a new comment, comment number one. And after we confirm, we'll get that nice triangle on the top right part. And if we hover over that triangle, we will see the comment inside of this cell. This is all preserved. This is all saved in the backend. So everything you do in front end will be saved for you. Then what we also have, we have this option to lock and unlock plans. So for instance, if the planning is over, we want to only analyze it in the future releases, then we can lock the plan and no one uh, can access it or no one can change it until uh, you unlock it again. Then there is a share option. So this is a share part. This is a whole feature where you can share your plan with other colleagues, with other team members or with the whole organization. First time when you create plan, that plan is visible only to you. Then you can play with it or you can invite friends or colleagues to uh, adjust the forecast or adjust the plan with you. And then after you are satisfied, you can share that plan with the rest of the team or with the organization. These are all options about creating new plans. So you can create new plan from Excel data, like copy paste, or you can create plan from the actual data inside of your data model. For instance, we have this create forecast from actuals. If we click on it, we have the same Power App custom visual in the background. But now we receive a different kind of layout. And here we can use already existing data in your Power BI data model to replicate the data 
and create a forecast base upon that data. So let's say that you want to add a new forecast based on the year 2020, and we will call this a uh, new forecast 2021. We have to include the year of the forecast, and then we have this option to save to database. And let's click on save. We have to wait for a couple of seconds, maybe even minutes, depending on how much data you want to push inside of the forecast table. So currently the, there is around a thousand rows of data. So everything you see in this table will get inside of the database and will be ready for you to use. Yeah, let's wait for it. Will be ready for you to use and to create your forecast upon. So now let's wait for a couple of seconds for the plan to upload. Okay, and now you get the message that everything is saved. And after we go to the overview page, we can now choose the new plan that was created from the actuals. And everything immediately updates. And now we can do, again, forecasting upon the data that was copied from our uh, data model. So everything works the same. Like I said, there are also options to create new plan straight from within the copy pasting from Excel file. And also you can do like some kind of uh, machine learning model to predict the future based on your current data. But then you can duplicate the plan, of course, and this is to add rows in bulk. Uh, we'll also explain that later on. Uh, the cool feature is that, for instance, let's say that we have a new category coming into our forecast table. So we want to include that new category and we can do it simply by clicking this plus sign. And then let's say that this is going to be a, a just some a, a straight A's column names. And we have to click on the plus sign and then we can do confirm. This will get inside of our database and we will immediately see that new segment inside of our slicers. And then we can select that slicer and let's say that we want to add some values to that, uh, uh, to that new launch. Let's say that it's a new launch. And after we confirm commit changes, this A will get its values inside of Power BI. And now we can combine the right query data, which is the data we included with the actuals coming from your data model. So this was a general overview. We will go into details about other features or we will go into details about each feature in the separate videos. Hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next video. Bye.